traveled up north for their opener against Morehouse College in the Black College Hall of Fame Classic earlier this afternoon. Yeah, this was the first meeting between the two since 1997, and they did it up in Canton, Ohio. Let's take a look at how the, some of the highlights did from that matchup. Yeah, sports director Mo Carter has been out there giving us an exclusive look at the Bulldogs all weekend long. First play of the game, Akil Glass with the play action fakes, and he finds Zabrion Moore across the middle, and he cruises in for a 40 yard touchdown, putting the Bulldogs up. 7 to 0. Nice. Second quarter now, Morehouse responds. Mike Sims throws the screen pass to Frank Bailey Jr., and he jukes a few defenders before raising 59 yards for a touchdown. The Bulldogs can't get to him. This ties the game up at 7 apiece. But late in the quarter, Anum responds. Glass finds Moore again on a 25 yard passing play down to the one yard line. And then the next play, Jordan Bentley puts Alabama Anum back on top 14 to 7. And at the half, Bulldogs lead 14 to 10. So to the fourth quarter we go. Alabama AM leads 28 to 24. Morehouse with the ball on fourth and 17, and they're going for it. Jalen Brown sends a prayer to Tramel Gooden. He comes down with the catch to put them near the, near the goal line. And Santo Dunn, he's gonna run it in for the score to put Morehouse on top now, 30 to 28. He just jumps it in, doesn't even yeah. he leaps over them. But only nine seconds left on the clock. We've got the same score, and a field goal will give the Bulldogs the win. But Coach Maynard says, I have faith in my quarterback. He puts it back in the hands of Akil Glass, and he launches it to Brian Jenkins Jr. Wow. in the end zone, and he scores. Alabama wins it with a final score of 35-30. to Sports director Mo Carter has more from Ohio. After committing five turnovers, the Alabama a and Bulldogs found themselves in a 30-28 to deficit with about a minute left to go in the inaugural Black College Hall of Fame football classic. However, Coach Maynard still believed that his team could pull off a victory, and they did it in exciting fashion. With about a minute to go, Alabama A&M orchestrated a six-play, 61-yard drive, and it culminated with a 20-yard touchdown pass from Akil Glass to Brian Jenkins, Jr. I knew they was playing man coverage over top of me. I said earlier in the week I was confident of our abilities against man. I know I have the best quarterback in the league, and I knew he could make the throw. So when Coach called the play, I knew it was going to be a touchdown. Started off good. And uh, the first throw, and then he we went south there for a little bit. And uh, but when we needed a quill to play like a quill glass, he did it, and that was the last drive. And then Brian Jenkins, of course, stepped it up to that last drive. But you got to take your hats off to everybody. The offensive line gave him time, and uh, everybody did their job. And and the quill got found Jenkins. He got open like he's supposed to, and he made the throw. The Bulldogs will return to action next week for the annual Lewis Cruz Classic, in which they will take on the Golden Lions of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Covering the Alabama AM Bulldogs in Canton, Ohio, I'm Mo Carter for WZDX Sports. Man, Kayla, what a game. That was a great game. Now, the Bulldogs will come back for their next game this Saturday against Arkansas Pine Bluff. Kickoff will be at 6 p.m. But let's go ahead and talk about this game yeah. a little bit, Charity. I know. Akil Glass had a bit of a shaky start to yeah. that game, but hey, guys, it's the beginning of the football right. season. They got to shake off that rust. First but, game jitters, maybe. Exactly. But you said you heard something after the game from the players and the coaches about. Yeah, you know, well, yeah, well, it was actually earlier this week in their press conference, the first okay. press conference of the season. Brian Jenkins Jr., who had that amazing catch, he said earlier that during the offseason, they actually went up to Chicago. Akil Glass himself and a couple of the other receivers went up to Chicago on their own, practiced with these trainers. They're trying to get better. And I mean, it looked like it paid off. It, it, it obviously did something for him, yeah, right? Yeah, it did. And I, when I heard that story, I just thought it was awesome that these kids were young men. They're taking their time out to get better. Just shows how much they love the game. And I think it paid off. I it mean. did. And hopefully we'll see better performances throughout the entire game later this season. But obviously you can't get over a win like that. I mean, that's, no, that's, I mean, I feel like in my opinion, it's the classic. It, yeah, <laughs> it, it really is. And I mean, we're going to see more of that coming up later in our show. We have a lot of great highlights. Oh, that yeah. Similar to that as well.